Hi there, my name is Rufus Deutschler, Design Evangelist at Adobe Systems. If you want to be on the fast track with Adobe Illustrator, you need to know about the Blob Brush tool. Do you like to draw freehand? Are you scared of the pen tool? Well, the Blob Brush tool is for you. Let's take a look at the options of the Blob Brush tool. It's right here inside of our tools in Adobe Illustrator. So double clicking on it will open the Blob Brush tool options. Here I can do several things, but the most important ones right now are these ones, the default brush options. Here I can choose the shape of my brush, whether it's round or oval. Okay, and I have a little preview here that shows me exactly how it will look. And then I also have the possibility to work on the size of my brush. So let's say we want to work with a 10-point brush and then based on the pressure I want a 10-point variation. That is the pressure of, um, of a pen on a Wacom tablet, which I'm using right now. And I can also change the options for the angle of the brush and the roundness of the brush. Check this out. Let's click on OK. And actually, let's make the brush slightly bigger. Let's make it 20 points so that we can see it better on the artboard and start drawing on the artboard. Let's make a circle like this. All right. And something like this. All right. I want to draw a yin and yang freehand inside of Illustrator. And then I will make the little dots here and boom, I'm done. Now I need to color these shapes. The interesting thing is that if you go under View Outline, we see that these are, in effect, vector shapes. And I'm going to paint in those vector shapes. Let's go back to Preview here. Let's double click on the Blub Brush tool and make the Blub Brush tool slightly thicker, like maybe 40 points. All right. And start drawing in here to fill in this area that I want to be black. All right. Exactly like like a pencil or, or, or a marker pen, I can go in here and draw into my shape. All right, so let's finish this very quickly, like so. Okay, and then we're also going to check out how it looks as far as vectors are concerned. All right, so let's finish this very quickly. All right, and over here, what I want to do is also make this point black. All right, so very, very quickly, we were able to give that natural feel to this drawing. If we go under View, Outline, you see that these are, in effect, vector shapes, which means that we can also use the tools that we have available in Illustrator. For example, the Eraser tool, Shift-E. So let's take the Eraser tool and go back into this circle here. And if I select my path, I can go in here and really make sure that uh, that this shape is round here. And let's remove this little bit of information up here, okay, and maybe here to make the path a little bit rounder, all right, without having that line coming out. And then I would use the, and this is a very uh, underused tool in Illustrator, this is the Smooth tool. If I select a complex shape, for example, this circle here, I can simply take the Smooth tool and draw over it, and you can see how very quickly I simplify it from a shape that had many, many vector points to one that has four points, all right? So let's go back into this complex shape here, and use the Smooth tool to make this path slightly uh, straighter. And then here, we also had a little problem. Okay, and there we go. Now, if we go back into Preview, we see our shape finished. This is actually the fastest way to draw crisp and sharp vector graphics that have a natural feel to them with Adobe Illustrator. So, ready, set, go create with the Blob Brush tool in Adobe Illustrator.